Hey there, welcome back to yet another episode in this phase of our journey where we demystify the Patents Act from the perspective of others. In the last video, we learned the process and procedures and form to be used for requesting change in the applicant's name or substitution of applicant's name as the patent application goes through the process at the patent office. In this video, we will learn about such a claim but with respect to the inventorship. Before going ahead with the process, let's think of the reasons based on which such a claim for inventorship can be made. The person can be of the opinion that he has contributed immensely on the invention, therefore he should be considered as the inventor. He could have contributed immensely for the entire invention or for a substantial part of the invention and he believes that the patent application is in direct consequence of his effort as the inventor in the invention. Therefore, his name should be mentioned as the inventor. Now, there could be a couple of scenarios here where the applicants are okay for his name to be included in the patent application or other case where the applicants are not okay. Let's go over such cases and what are the provisions that we have as per the act to handle such situations. Let's begin with the first case where applicants are okay with him being mentioned as the inventor. So, as per section 28.2, Rule 66, applicant on its own or applicant with such a claimant can approach the controller to request the controller for mentioning his name as the inventor. What forms do they use? They use form 8 and provide all the relevant details with respect to why they are approaching the controller and on what basis they think the person's name should be mentioned as inventor. Upon receiving such a request from the applicant alone or with the claimant, Controller goes over the request, verifies the detail in it and uh, may hear them as well to better understand the case and thereafter issues a decision allowing mention of the person's name as inventor as per section 28. Rule 70 provides a format using which such a mention can be included in any relevant documents of a patent application. One interesting point to note at this stage is such mention of inventors are only for academic purposes. There are no additional rights which are either conferred or there are no rights which are derogated. This is the mention of inventor as per section 28. This was the case where the claimant had support from the applicant. What about the case where the applicants are not supporting such a request from the claimant? In such cases, the claimant can approach the controller as per section 28.3 again using form 8 and providing the relevant details why his name should be mentioned as the inventors. You would have guessed it right what would happen next. The controller will pass on such a request to the applicants of the application and since this is more like an opposition proceeding now there will be replies, responses, document submissions and hearing which will be undertaken as per rule 57 to 63. Upon conclusion of a hearing, the controller will issue a decision either allowing or disallowing such mention of inventorship as per section 28.6. With this, we have discussed cases where a claimant either with the support of an applicant or without the support of applicant can get his name mentioned as inventor in the patent application. Once such mention of inventor has happened, there is quite a possibility that there could be others who do not agree with the decision of the controller and do not appreciate the fact that such a person has been mentioned as inventor in the patent application. They may want to oppose the decision. So, is there a way they can approach the controller? Yes, as per section 28.7, the others can approach the controller by putting up a request in form 6 as per rule 68. They can provide the details with respect to why they are approaching the controller and on what basis they think that such a person should not be named as an inventor or mentioned as the inventor and they would want the controller to issue a certificate to that effect. You may have guessed it correctly that this looks more like a opposition proceeding. So, upon receiving such a request from the others, the controller passes on such a request to the applicant and any other related parties as mentioned in the register. Beyond this, we have replies, responses, documents and hearing as per rule 57 to 63. No need to discuss that. All the opposition proceedings as per rule 57 to 63. Once the hearing is concluded, the controller can issue a judgment by either maintaining the status quo, by keeping the mention of the person as inventor or by removing such a mention. 
Now let's assume the case where the controller decides to remove the mention. In such cases, the specification and all other relevant documents need to be rectified. And a certificate to that effect is issued to the others also. That yes, the person's name has been removed and is no longer mentioned as the inventor. So this brings us to the end of this session. With the help of previous session and this session, now we know how to put a claim for being an applicant or how to put a claim for being mentioned as an inventor. As we move forward, things get little hot. In the next episode, we will discuss various options available for opposing a patent, be in the application phase or be in the grant phase. So I'll see you in the next video. Till then, be good and take care.